Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, today Simon suggested that I have a look at last Wednesday's puzzle. I've been a bit busy and haven't really had time to do the crosswords, which is fine, I'll catch up on some of them. But last Wednesday I think was the announcement of this year's Times Crossword Championship. Um, the daily puzzle for the day therefore becomes a competition and for some reason that comes as a printout and instead for the regular puzzle what they've done in the past is find a puzzle from the past so we can see here that in between the numbering 27014 and 27016 instead we have 230365 and I think that that's going to mean it's from the 23rd of March 1965 the year I was born um, and therefore a good 15 to 20 years before I started doing crosswords so it's almost certainly going to be the old style of Times crossword, um, and that'll be partly the reason Simon's going to be amused to see me attempt it with vague allusions, literary references, clues that aren't clues as we understand them now, either wordplay or definitions. So let's have a look and um, see how we get on. Um, just give it a moment to call up as always the times is one of the slowest puzzles in the world right yeah this puzzle takes the place of the regular one etc okay one across nip across for a bun no idea one down woolly finishes to tug of war pullovers I suppose they are woolies and that would be how you finish a tug of war ships writer liner someone who writes lines and some of the answers I'll put in may be slight guesses I'm quite confident about those two but I might have to put in stuff to just work on it one of the glossies something glossy is basically what that clue is saying 11 the whale belongs to him generically speaking the whale what, genus uh, orca something orchis could even be some other word you know though nip across for a bun mm. two down I'm just there's, there's a pike pikelet that's a bun. I have no idea why it would be nip across there. Two, that's a feather in your cap, sir. Yankee Doodle. Pen something. How does Victor sit for the artist? That does look a bit like an anagram of Victor sit, but. There must be some Russian artist if that was right. Strivitic or Stru Strikitov. Last one we've got a letter for. Good chap. He goes to the masthood, masthead full of fire. Well, that's a reference to St. Elmo's fire, and a saint is always a good chap. 19. Aims to get under canvas. Intense. That's a bit of a classic crossword construction. 13. Military establishment. Could be almost anything. Um, 22 across. David Balfour's beloved brought to book. I don't know if this is a reference to Kidnapped, where the hero is called Balfour. I don't know if he's David. Could be a reference to the Prime Minister Balfour. I think he might have been Arthur. Ugh, 25. Single stones are wanted for these ornaments. Solitaires would have made sense. There's no place for the likes of him. So maybe it's just for women only. Oh, military establishment. And what's this one down? Green for pretty Polly. Yeah, these are just 
allusions. There's nothing much, uh, maybe apart from this one now. So it could end in ist. Vorticist. Could be an artist. Oh, not written like that. Written more like that. Vorticist. That's, that's a guess. One of the glosses. Ah, well, elemi is a classic crossword word, and I think it's a tree resin, so it's probably glossy. The whale belongs to him, generically speaking. Orc, his. And orchis is the, gen the genus of orchids. Okay, that's a feather in your cap, sir. kind of want that to be panache now. But I haven't got any good reason for that. Well, yes, I have. I think a panache can be some sort of feather in a cap. But why, sir? And why wouldn't you clue it as a pan ache? Nip across, pop over. That must be a bun. I think it feels like it is. And I'm going with panache. But... I don't really know why, I have to admit. I mean, it rings the vaguest of bells that panache can be used for one of those old kind of musketeer feather hats. Just the girl for love. Ruth. Ruthless means without mercy. So Ruth is mercy. Might be love as well. Might be. Five across. Conversely, what did the vegetarian eat? Can you beat it? <clears throat> Quite like to put a drumstick in or something there. Um, hmm. Six down. In a divided way, Othello bedeviled the whole thing. What? Uh, it's going to be some quote from Othello himself. Mm. Yeah, I just don't know that. Eight, otium. Don't know what that means. Provided by a supporter of art. Well, a supporter of art would normally be an easel. But I don't know what otium is. Easel is a great word for a crossword, especially in the last column. Letters would end E, S, and L. That's all plausible. Associate oneself with Robbie in a cheeky appearance. Ooh, well, that's sideburns. So it's not Ruth. How about Rose or Rosie or Rosa? Just the girl for love. I suppose because roses are a symbol of love, I'm going to put in easel as well now. <sighs> wow. Have a fruit drop. Windfall, I suppose. That originally was a bonus dropping of fruit. Six down in a divided way. Othello bedeviled the whole thing. Well, it's hidden. Hidden in Othello bedeviled is lobed. And that kind of means divided up into two lobes, like a brain. Green for pretty Polly. Green. Green is very commonly used in crosswords now for inexperienced or raw much nowadays also obviously eco that wouldn't have been the case in 1965 much green though could be money for pretty Polly it's quite an interesting beginning assuming windfalls right not many words would fit lovely be lovely to get the first letter conversely what did the vegetarian eat can you beat it Seven down. The poet loses 50 for a start, but gets gold nonetheless. Laureate. 
Losing 50 is Aureate. Yeah, that has to do with gold. Oh, I've got to get used to two. Only entering the Undertake letters again. Five across. Conversely, what did the vegetarian eat? Can you beat it? Come on. Um, so conversely, there's got to be some reference to an animal in it. So it could begin bull or... It's, it's going to mean age, I think. Can you beat? Mm. They make a deep impression. Engravers? I mean, they do. Okay, if it was engravers, five down could be Paddington or Waddington. Green? Paddington Green? For Pretty Polly. Why would Pretty Polly be Paddington? That might be a literary reference, I don't know, before Paddington Bear was created. Pretty Polly. Well, I think Paddington would fit. I like engravers at 15. Conversely, what did the vegetarian eat? Pillage? Can you beat it? Palpate. It, that means a oh, pulsate that means to beat and <clears throat> a vegetarian does eat pulse pulse eight eight pulse conversely I'm going with Paddington don't know what the reference to pretty poly is and I'm going with engravers and we're making progress although it is a bit guessy military establishment oh so many possibilities Wellington Establishment. I mean, anything's an establishment. First class port. Archangel is often a port, and that might be the first class of angel, which are listed in classes. Um, maybe, not certain. Envious rent maker. Envious could be green. After all, I am in my element, though wan. Palely? No. Italian travel book. Guide? Guido? Guido might be an Italian, might be assumed to be the Italian for a guide. Or, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. All for your something, we are not here. That will be from the epilogue speech, which has, we are such stuff as dreams are made on, but I don't, it's the sort of thing I might remember with a bit of help, I think. Preserving the bequest. See, if that's an I, then it could end in ing, willing, keeping. 17, come on, this would be useful. How to endure self-denial. Stand something. Stand. Envious rent maker. Casca. That is a reference to Casca, probably in the play, Julius Caesar. Tearing Caesar's toga so if this ends in a d after all i am in my element though when pallid pd palladium is the very random element with all i in it it is stand something if that's guido and i'm still not sure about that preserving the bequest okay i wasn't thinking of snl uh, salting is preserving the bequest no idea why, but I just feel it's right. Guido, still quite like that. Could be guide. Stand. How to endure self-denial. Stand down. 
all for your delight. You see, I, it was there somewhere. We are not here. So stand. How to endure self-denial. Stand. Oh, that's annoying. Guido. I don't know. I can't think of anything else that's annoying. Now, even if that was wrong, I don't even know where I would start changing what I'm thinking about. Accustomed to employ copper, use D, the old penny. Single stones are wanted for these ornaments. Lone something. Mr. Sober himself, judge. <coughs> Probably not. The mark of the butterfly, comma. A comma is a butterfly, and mark can mean a pencil mark. There's no place for the likes of him. Also ran as some a horse that doesn't finish in the three places. David Balfour's love, beloved, brought to book. Katrina. That is a book in the genre of kidnapped and whatever Balfour's in or wrote. I, that's going to be right. It's all very Scottish and Walter Scott or Balfour or Stevenson. Mr. Sober himself. Well, that doesn't look so good. So that worries me about Katrina. I really like Katrina. Wellington would still fit a military establishment. I mean, Wellington is a very military name, but what sort of establishment is Wellington? Single stones, mono, I don't know, an ornament beginning with mono. Oh, the Mr. Sober himself. Mr. Sober himself. Mr. Sober himself. You see, that could be another literary reference that is just completely over my head. So, I mean, this is the problem is you don't quite know what these things are getting at. Military establishment. Again, I've got Wellington in my head. I can't really think of anything else. Declension would fit, but no idea why. Um... This is where I ought to be good with a lot of letters in the grid and just being able to think of something that'll fit and then justify it. Single stones are wanted for these monoliths. You, yeah, there. Ornaments is a bit dubious. Mr. Sober himself, idler, is the only thing I know that fits. But Katrina could be wrong. I think it's right. It's fun. I mean, it's intriguing how much instinct dictates what's right. Military, so I mean, it's got to be Wellington. It fits. Oh, Wellington College is a school, and I think it's associated with the military. Mr. Sober himself. Why would an idler be sober? It's quite the opposite of what you would expect an idler to do. Just feel it's right. Now, it's how to endure self-denial. Stand. Foot. Stand. Root. Stand. Port. Just There's something obvious that I'm just not thinking of. But it may not be an O, it might be an E, it might just be guide, which would satisfy the end of travel book, but I don't know why it would be Italian. Stand. How to endure self-denial. Mm, this is going to be a very dull bit where I sit and think, because 
If I could think of a reasonable answer, I'd just be writing it in like I did with Idler. I mean, I can't justify that. It's the, if Katrina's right with that spelling, Idler's the only thing that fits, really, that I know. It doesn't have to be right, but it's got a very good chance. If I could think of a regular phrase that was stand something O something T, I would be justifying it as enduring self-denial. Self-denial is dieting or being Spartan or... Let's just run the alphabet with a B, stand boot or boat, O, C, stand colt, D, dot, F, fort, foot, stand foot, goat, host, Stand host could be a phrase. Stand jolt, cold, it's loft, most, moot, stand port, post, stand post. Um, let's just keep going in case I come up with something later. Stand root, stand route, stand soft, stand sort, stand soot, stand toot, tout, v, stand volt, stand wort, stand Zort. So, this just doesn't look great. Italian travel book. So maybe it's a guide. Gide. In that case, how about an E there? Stand beat. Stand belt. Kilt. Down. Felt. Feet. Heat. Stand hexed. Stand Kent, stand left, stand left. Oh, it's annoying. I mean, you know, this puzzle is done virtually, but okay, there might be one mistake, might be even two at this point. Guido is plausible, but stand. Let's keep going with the E possibilities. Heft, jest, kent, left, melt, meet, neat, next, pant, peat, pelt, stand, rest. Stand seat. Maybe that's what it's about, is standing and not taking a seat for oneself. But Stand next. Stand test. Stand west. Stand... It's just nothing. I don't know. I'm not going to enter this for the leaderboard, I don't think. Stand... Stand post. It's not right. Self denial. Don't know. I would like to know what the answer is, and I don't. So there we go. That's what I would submit. Um, certainly, I think that last answer is wrong. Possibly Idler, possibly Guido are wrong. Katrina might be wrong. The rest looks good. Paddington I can't explain in any way. Things like easel I don't really understand. Plenty. But that would be my answer. And taken about 20, 22 minutes. Not brilliant, but there again, that's a tough puzzle these days. You get much more help with crosswords these days, I have to say. Thanks for watching, and um, hope you got something out of it. I hope you did better than I did, maybe you understood.
at least 17 down and some of the ones I was putting in without full understanding. I mean, there'd be a few of those to comment on. We'd welcome your comments. Thanks very much. And